In this question, we are told that a soccer player kicks a ball with an initial velocity of 12 metres per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. We are asked to find the magnitude of the horizontal and vertical components of the ball's velocity. The first thing to do would be to draw a picture representing this information. This gives you a clear understanding of what's going on in the question. So this is the ground. And we'll draw our soccer player and the ball. We are told that the ball goes at 30 degrees to the horizontal. Let's put in the horizontal. This is if we kick the ball straight ahead, but we know that the ball went at 30 degrees to this. So the angle here is 30 degrees. Velocity is a vector quantity since it has both magnitude and direction. The magnitude is its speed, which is 12 meters per second, and the direction is 30 degrees to the horizontal. So the magnitude of the velocity is 12 meters per second. So you do not need to compute this yourself since you're given the value in the question. And the direction is at 30 degrees to the horizontal. We want to resolve this velocity vector into its horizontal and vertical components as we are trying to find the magnitude of the horizontal and vertical components of the ball's velocity. We put in the horizontal component, which is here, and the vertical component, is here. So this is the vertical component of the ball's velocity. And this is the horizontal component This is a right angle triangle, so the 90 degrees is here. So labelling our triangle, this is the opposite. The 12 metres per second is the hypotenuse, and the horizontal component is the adjacent. So solving for the horizontal component, the cos of an angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Multiplying both sides by the hypotenuse, gives us this, and then filling in from our picture, the hypotenuse is 12 meters per second, our angle is 30 degrees, and the adjacent is the horizontal component. The cos of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2, this is the horizontal component. Multiplying these out gives 10.39 meters per second. This is the magnitude of the horizontal component. Of the ball's velocity. This is not the actual vector representing the horizontal component, it is simply the magnitude of the horizontal component. Now solving for the magnitude of the vertical component. So the sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Multiplying both sides by the hypotenuse gives this, and filling in from the picture Our angle is 30 degrees. Our opposite is the vertical component of the ball's velocity. The sine of 30 degrees is a half. This is equal to the vertical component. So this is the magnitude. of the vertical component of the ball's velocity. 
So the answers that we have here are the magnitudes of the horizontal and vertical components of the ball's velocity. They are not the actual vectors representing the horizontal and vertical components, as we did not give the direction, we only gave the magnitude.